All right, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4. So this is just going to kind of be like an all-in-one series. Um, and this episode, I'm just going to introduce you to the family. Um, these were kind of just like my current household sims, but I just really want to play with them on the channel. So I thought that would be uh, uh, just a fun way to kind of uh, explore them um, and just kind of have documentation of them because I'm obsessed with them. So let's jump right in um and get started so um oh the dog needs a bath don't mind them don't mind cashew uh he just is adventurous so let's introduce you to the family um maybe they can all wake up all right so my main sim here is eric porter um and he just wants to be a farmer as you can see we live on a farm in Hanford on bagley and he just wants to be a farmer with a big happy family um, and just wants to grow his business into anything he can. So he has the country caretaker. Um, I already have him on the second um, level of it. And as for traits, he loves the outdoors, is family oriented, uh, animal enthusiast, collector, and he has a fear of being cheated on. I don't know why he's never been cheated on before by his wife, but, or fiance, I guess. But anyways, let's move on. This is, everyone's looking very sad. Can y'all like look a little bit happier? Guess not, but this is Leah Porter. Um, she, oh, I did not change her aspiration. Um, I was gonna have her be that one, but she wants to be a master chef. Um, and she is currently, oh, it's because I was on the wrong sim. Never mind. you do want to be a country caretaker. Okay, so Leah wants to be a master chef. Um, she is currently level three in the culinary career, and her she loves the outdoors, is a vegetarian, neat, is a collector, and she has a fear of unfulfilled dreams. I'm not sure why either, but she just does. So that's that. And then this is their baby, Leo, um, who I guess Eric can come over and get him to stop crying. Um, they just had him like the other day. Um, so they're new parents. And then we also have Cashew, um, who I'm going to give a bath right now. I feel like I give him a bath every single day because I do, basically, because he is a mess and he's always going on adventures and rolling in everything he can. Um, so while that's happening, I'm going to give you a tour of their house. So this is a little farmhouse I built for their starter home. We've had a few additions. Um, lots of debug around as we're just like slowly going to expand the farm. And out here, we have our main form of income, which is our begonias. Um, we also have some aubergines growing and some blackberries. Cause I think blackberries are also good. And then over here, we have some chickens. So when Eric is done with this, I'm going to get him. Oh. Um, and more about our family is right now, I see that. Eric's father is here. I'm not going to invite them over, but Eric does have a father, mother named Maya, and a sister named Eve, who is a teenager. But um, that is that. Um, we also have a little cow plant here. I don't know how he keeps getting in because he loves to eat the... Um, he loves to eat all of the chicken feed for some reason. I'm not sure why. I literally have locked that dog out every single day, but it's just not working. So I am not sure why. Oh, looks like that is broken. Okay, uh, so let's just get into the gameplay. Oh, we need to pay our bills. One second. Pay bills, please. They're quite high, I don't know why, but that's okay. Um, so let's go over here and start talk, taking care of the crops. Let's harvest all of them. Um, yeah, so Eric's day kind of just starts out doing all the farm duties. Um, Leah loves cooking, so she usually kind of meal preps um, by just cooking a whole bunch of different foods to practice her cooking with. Um, which Eric just loves having all of her fresh food, which from the kitchen. Um, uh, going back to the tour, we have a little living room area, um, a dining room, a second or main bathroom. Um, we have one second place chicken competition and the egg competition. And then the kitchen is one of my favorite parts of the house. 
Um, I am using custom content, but this is the kitchen. I think it is super cute. Eric is still going along harvesting everything. We should have a good, um, good number. Oh, what is this? A Phyraxium, I guess. All right. So we would get $4,000, but I want to see if we go and sell them to the grocery store if we get any extra money. So let's head over there. Right now for breakfast, I'm eating something a little bit weird. I had oatmeal and then from Starbucks, I got like the instant coffee things. And I was like, what if I put this in the oatmeal? So I did. It tasted really like coffee. Not my fave. So then I added some sugar, oat milk, and cinnamon. And it tastes actually pretty good. So if you're ever looking for like some coffee in your life, but also eating breakfast, I would definitely recommend having some of that oatmeal. Um, it was surprisingly good. All right, so before we go sell them, um, this is a lot I built for the world. It is a, like, it's an old house, but it's been renovated into a cafe, um, and I think it is super cute. It's, we're going, we're using that emerald green color from Cottage Living, and I just love it. So maybe before we do that, um, we can order a little bit of a to-go drink, a little mocha. Um, and then we can go over and, did he order that or did he steal that? Can you please go get your coffee? Where did you get that? Pumpkin stew? Okay, I guess the, I guess that's not going to work for us. Who is over here? Oh, we have one of the girls from the high school years game pack. Um, this is a little bit of a work in progress. On the channel, I have the speed build of this. I don't think I'm going to release a speed build of this just because it's a simple bookstore, nothing crazy. But I am currently um, working on a let's build of this townhouse. Um, if we sneak a peek inside, um, we have just like the kitchen and like the main exterior done. So that will be quite exciting. But let's go over to the grocery shop since the barista seems to have quit her job um, and is refusing to serve us. So... That is A-OK. -okay. I have things to do for today. It's already 5 p.m. somehow, so I'll give you 25% off. Okay, perfect. So we can sell all of our items for a little bit more. The only bad thing is that I'm going to have to sit here for who knows how long and sell all of them individually like this because for some reason, maybe there's a mod out there that I can do, but okay, perfect. I only have 80 to go, so I'll, I will cut to when I'm finished this. Oh, and I can only sell 99 at a time. How interesting. Oh, and now, are they worth $23 each when I sell them in my inventory? They are. So I am done with her. Um, and let's also sell those blackberries. And I have no use. I can't sell these for some reason. So that is A-OK. -okay. Is there anything we can buy from the garden shop? Any expensive flowers would be amazing. Um, those are worth 114. Oh, lilies are worth quite a lot. Orchids. Let's let's buy an orchid. It's a little bit of an investment. Um, roses are also quite a good investment, and maybe we can do lilies as well. So we just dropped a big chunk of change, but it's an investment into the farm. So I am not mad about it. All right. Now that we are home, I I need to buy more farmland already. I just bought some, but that is okay. Let's turn that bb.move objects cheat on. Move some of these trees along. Super realistic gameplay right here where we just move trees. And we have a little bit of access here. Maybe we can turn this into a real building eventually. Let's move some of these fake... Uh, grasses are out of the way and let's make another row of farmland perfect should we get sprinklers i think these will um water the area right i don't think i've ever actually tested them can i turn on the sprinkler when it's like in the farmland like this
Oh wait, that water's done. Okay. I think I might, how much are sprinklers? Let's see. sprinkle 2000. $350. How many would I need? Why is my game lagging? Hello, please work. Okay, not sure. Um, so wait, this covers a... Did that get those ones? It did. So I think I got all those. So I think we need like one per two plots. Okay, let's get Eric to come. You're not that tired, girl. You don't need a nap. Okay, let's get Eric to plant this rose, this lily, and then this flower. Let's go plant all of these. Um, maybe we'll be like a really big flower farm. Okay, um, let's look into what we need to upgrade it. We need level five handiness. So what is Eric? Does he have any handiness? No, he has none. Does you? No. So we're gonna need some handiness because I think if we do that, we can um, upgrade the sprinklers to have like an auto water feature maybe. Could be something to look into. But to do that, we, oh, Leah just left this on the stove for some reason. How strange. He's going to go take care of the baby. Feed it. Him. Sorry, not it. <laughs> the next day. Oh, if you see, they auto water in the morning. That is perfect. Okay, Leah, you gotta stop complaining. You gotta change your baby's diaper. Hurry up or it's gonna get taken away by social services. And as as quiet as it would be, we I would like to keep this baby. That would be something I'd be interested in doing. So why don't we go serve up some breakfast? I feel like we have just a million things in this fridge, but yeah, we do, but whatever. It's okay. It's good, it's good practice. All right. So we don't need to water any of the plants. Why don't we go and talk to Patchy? I want him to wake up so I can uh, get some help because this farm is getting real big. We were free from lag for a little bit. I feel like we're getting there. Come on, you know you wanna. Can I save and then will it like reset everything? Um. I don't know if that helped. Anyways, let's go spray for bugs and weed everything. And then we can go and harvest. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go straight to selling everything. Oh, Leah ate something with meat. That was your own fault, girl. But if the um if the sprinklers don't need to be um upgraded in order to water automatically, I do not care about learning handiness. Let's evolve these. 72 versus 48. Oh, this evolution is doing wonders. Leo. Hey, I heard you're good friends with Leah. You're getting more popular. Why is my child, who's a baby, calling me, telling me about my reputation? That is quite interesting, but whatever. Not the weirdest thing I've seen in The Sims ever, so. Oh, and I need to take care of these chickens. I did not take care of them today, so let's scatter some feed, collect the eggs. Are these eggs spoiled? Yeah. Let me throw those out. Leah is crying, but she just needs to get over it sometimes. And I honestly love how much um, Cashew loves hanging out in the in the chicken coop, it's so cute. Even if it is to eat all of the uh, chicken feed, I don't care, it is cute. And by people, I mean me. Look at him, look at him go. He was waiting, he was waiting for when I was gonna restock that chicken feed. What a silly guy. Should, can, I, can I afford to buy a Roomba? What does the high-end one do? Oh, it's pre-upgraded, let's just do this one. Um, just because Cashew is a hairy dog, let's do, um, the shark, that's cute. I didn't realize Patchy was a live-in maid as well. Oh my lord. And the robot vacuum is doing its work. That is amazing. I love that. Why are you acting like this isn't your house? 
you just let's go woohoo with Leah. I think that'll calm all of all of you down. Um, and I'm, uh, I think in the next episode I might want to get this wedding done because it is something that needs to happen. They've been engaged for how long? Okay, Eric, if you're gonna take care of the baby, actually do it properly, please. Oh, Cashew, what do you think you're doing? He's just out in the out in the middle of nowhere. Can we plan a wedding event that like doesn't happen right now? No, I think we have to plan it. What if we have the wedding um on Tuesday? Can I add an event? Add a actually I'm gonna get a wedding lot before I plan anything um because I know I need to have the lot picked beforehand. Um, I just need to get some watering on these and let's, okay, that, I think they're all enabled already. So the next day, um, weed everything, please. Why are you always angry? He's losing control. I don't care. Oh, he gets to use the fancy weed vacuum. That is so great. And can we spray the area for bugs? That would be amazing as well. Are these gonna turn off? And where did all of, did I harvest those or did Patchy do them? Oh, we got a coffee maker. I forgot about this from Leah's job. Let's put that right there. Um, did we harvest everything? Or are they out of season? No, they're in season still. I am not quite sure why they didn't grow anything today, but I think fall starts tomorrow. So I think we should prep by um, building a greenhouse. So let's do that. That can be our little final thing we do this episode. Let's move these grasses over. Um, and I'm thinking I want to base it off of like this design, I think. Okay, so we are entering a little bit of a speed build. I just wanted to get this um, greenhouse just built really fast. I did take a little bit of time. So yeah, we are just basing it off of that little debug object. It's just super simple. We're just doing a stone rectangle with a glass roof, just fiddling around with it. I just wanted um, this greenhouse just to look like it's like it's been there, but also like it hasn't, like it is new. So we use some more classic um, traditional looking windows instead of like all glass wall ones. And I had a really hard time deciding how I wanted to do the door. Um, I liked the way this double door looked because it like matched in the wood color. But in the end, I think I ended up doing a single wide door with an awning just because um, it allowed for more uh, space for double wide planters to go. So I think that's the final verdict we do. And I get some of these base game planters. They did have a new swatch update a while ago. So yeah. And for some reason, when I put the plants in, they did reset into their um, growth state. So we are going to have to wait for those to regrow, but I think it'll be better than having um, the everything die over the winter uh, with fall and winter and this will allow us to have a little bit of income um i do plan on getting winter and fall plants outside but this will let us just keep having our income so let's get back into the gameplay after this terrain paint let's start growing that'd be great um yeah nothing honestly i think it might be because of patchy Let's um, delete Patchy. He's not really helping all that much. So I don't know where he's gonna go. He might just be stuck forever. Stop moving, stop moving, please. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed this episode a lot. We got to build a greenhouse, got to make quite a bit of money off of our begonias. Um, and I think we just made good progress. So in the next episode, Hopefully we are, um, Leo will age up and we will be able to have the wedding. So I will see you in the next one. See, bye everyone.